What is going on guys, Dan with Gear Focus here, and today we're gonna to be talking about one of my personal favorite lenses. It's known as the Video Workhorse, and that is the Canon 24 to 105 f4. Now, like I said in that intro, the Canon 24 to 105 f4 is known as the video workhorse. And I can confirm that that is in fact the case. I use this lens literally every day. I have not had a shoot where I don't use this lens. Now I do use this lens pretty much exclusively on all of my freelance content, whether that's for photography or if that is for videography. It's the perfect wedding lens because it gives you everything that you're gonna need all in one lens so you don't have to be swapping your lenses back and forth. Now one of the biggest critiques of this lens is the f4 aperture. And most of the time people say, well f4 is not fast enough, you're not gonna get enough low light. But I can tell you that that's just not true. Those people are stupid, they don't know what they're talking about. Yes, you are going to get more light if you have a lower number on your aperture. An f2.8 is always going to get more light than your f4. However, depending on the camera that you have, you're still going to be able to get great low light results. I mentioned in another video that I pretty much use that lens almost exclusively on my Blackmagic rig. The benefit of the Blackmagic rig is it does have a dual native ISO. So it does really well in low light. Now, if you're using a different camera like the EOS R, I have had some times where I've had to add more light or really boost my ISO, which gives me a bunch of noise in the image, but never so much noise that I can't correct for it in post with a little bit of noise reduction. Now also with the f4, I do get some pretty decent image compression at the 105 end of the lens. f4 at 105 millimeters is actually a pretty narrow focal plane. You're gonna be able to get some really good depth of field depending on how you use this lens. Remember, the longer the focal length, the more compression you're gonna have with your aperture. Now another good thing about this lens is it is an L-series lens from Canon. Yes, it's at the lower end of the L series, but the L series glass is held to a much, much higher standard than other glass that Canon puts out. And while it is also technically a kit lens, it's by far the best and most flexible kit lens out there that Canon has. But because it is a kit lens, you can pick it up for super cheap. I got mine for only 250 bucks from a friend of mine, but typically they sell for just under five or $400 online. I've also noticed that it's really good for photos. This is the lens that I use for literally everything. I have yet to find something that this lens cannot do. There are some times where I have to do a little bit of a workaround for something, but I'm still able to accomplish what I need to do. I've been able to do everything from portraits to nightscapes to landscapes to weddings to everything with this lens. And while it's not the sharpest lens out there, it does give me consistently good image quality in both video and photo. Now, the only downside that I've noticed with my lens in particular is that it does have a little bit of a highlight bloom. And I think that might just be my lens specifically because other people that use this lens, I have not seen that with them. However, in some situations, that highlight bloom is actually really, really nice. And it gives me a really good, nice roll off in the image. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for me today. This was just a nice quick one. I wanted to show you guys my personal favorite lens. And I'm also kind of curious to see what your favorite lenses are for what you guys do. So go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what your personal favorite lens is for your camera. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We would really, really appreciate it. All right guys, so remember, stay healthy, stay safe, and Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion.